Okay, we're back to the project. I'm here with one of my students, Gage, from Michigan. And we're uh, he's looking over my shoulder. We're going to do this right now. I've got my mask happening here. I fixed my mask up. I went in and painted with um, the paintbrush white erases, right, control Z, and black, let me flip those, adds, um, uh, sub actually adds to the mask or subtracts to the mask. Either way, you, you, you cut it, if I press Q, I get a selection, and I select everywhere where the red wasn't, right? So there is my um, selection, right? And so now, once again, I can um, go back to my my um, quick mass selection tool, click on Refine Edge, and let's take a look here. Um, I'm going to zoom in first and take a look here, see if I need to refine this edge a little bit. Okay, there we go. All right, and one of the reasons this is kind of taking so long is that this is actually a very high-res image, and I'm not going to be um, sticking with a high-res image um, ultimately, so I could probably change that. So anyway, here I am, and get my hand tool here, right, and I can look to see how this is if this is looking good I can once again click on these different modes and you can see the selection there see there's a bit of green left in there um, what I can do is probably um, expand that selection a little bit more and that will expand the selection and make it closer cropped to his hair so I'll click OK. I can zoom out now, control minus on my keyboard, and press delete on the keyboard, and I'm now left with this, this gang right here. Now if I decide I want to work with this selection again, what I might do is do select, save selection, and just title it select one, or my select one, click OK. So I've saved that selection. And now a couple of things that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my crop tool and I'm going to crop this down. Hey, hello. I'm going to crop this down. Because I only need them. I don't need all the other stuff. And another thing I'm going to do is lower the resolution. Image. Image size and you can see this is a huge image which I don't need it to be so large I'm gonna make sure that resample image is selected and I'll change the width to a thousand and click OK and that will lower the size of my image greatly and I can probably even do it some more image image size will take the width down to 800 and click OK and now doing much better. Now I can zoom in, which I will do, hold down the space bar so I can move my move my image here and I can see that I picked up some green off the top of his hair so what I'll do now is just use my eraser tool make a smaller eraser and see if I can kinda get rid of some of that green that's giving him kind of a green top here. There we go. Yep, yeah, well, he'll be happy I did that. Give him a little bit of fuzzy. So since he has a little bit of a fuzzy, what I could do is go here and change the hardness so it's a lot harder and a little bit smaller and not so fuzzy on the erasing. Okay. I'll zoom out, control minus. And it's looking a lot better. It's time to bring it into the other piece. So now, let me find the piece that I want to bring it into. I'm going to bring these guys into 
this image here. Now I'm going to open up my Photoshop file for this image so that I can do this. File, open, and I've got to find it here. Let's see here, my documents. And let's see here, scarybaby.psd, that's the one. And this should open up in a second. Here we go. And let's see here. Okay, here's the original file. And you can see that I'm on a layer here got a shadow for myself here. And now what I'm going to do, my text did not transfer in well, that's alright. What I'm going to do is I will take this window, float all in windows, so I have floating windows here, and I will get this window, and oops, not used to using CS4 get the selection tool and just drag and drop from one to the other and now I've got the gang into on their own layer right here in Photoshop all right so now I just need to resize them control T to do an edit transform from the corner hold down my shift key and transform the scale holding down the shift key the whole time as I transform them and see if I can fit them onto the block I think maybe a little bit smaller is better so that you get the full feeling for how small they are in compared to the baby. And I'm having one problem if you can tell what it is. Let's see here, maybe a little bit smaller. Not quite fitting his back feet on the block, fitting the entire crew onto it that looks okay I'll just hit enter and see what happens with that well there they are